Thank you very much. We'll have uh, a couple of players after Andy and Peter finish the press conference. Uh, can I invite Sunday newspapers to get a couple of questions in for... Well, it's quite quickly if we can, please. We're back to the seats. The session's under a bit of pressure. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Sunday correspondence, a couple of questions to kick it off. Okay. Thank you. Um, Andy, uh, does it make it all the sweeter to be made work hard for that? So I suppose it does. It's a proper test match, and when um, <clears throat> when a trophy's on the line for, for both of us, that's that's how it should be, shouldn't it? Um, uh, I've no doubt that Scotland will be proud of their performance as well as um, as well as us, you know. But ultimately, um, we're delighted, you know. It's about it's about winning championships for us, um, um, and that's. Unbelievably pleasing because it's so hard to do. Um, you know, everyone constantly talks about Grand Slams and we get carried away with it so much. Back-to-back -back Grand Slams have, have never been done before. Um, <clears throat> there's obviously a, a good reason for that. Um, but for us to be in a position to win um, a back-to-back -back Six Nations, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice... It's a nice, it's a nice feeling for us because that's it goes down in history, doesn't it, for Irish rugby? You know, so we're we're we're, we're unbelievably uh, proud of the group. Okay, that for Sundays. Okay, that's it for Sundays. Uh, we'll continue on online TV. This is live. Okay. Well done, Pete. Huh? Well, you did well for the Sundays. Then. You did actually. Yeah. <laughs> all, 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 over to the Sundays. On your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Uh, okay, Neil. Peter, that's your fifth Six Nations title. How special was that moment walking up collecting the trophy? Yeah, unbelievably special. Um, yeah, there's just three of us. But uh, I think this is probably the most special. It's, it's a tough week we put down as a group. Um, St. Andy on the way in here was a tough week and it was probably one of the toughest days I put down nerves wise beforehand. Um, uh, chatting to a few fellas they were in the same boat which was nice um, but yes 100% uh, has to be up there but one of the most special days of my career if not the most Thanks uh, Keen then Ashley Peter uh, and moments if the trophy with Ty Ferdinand as well and obviously going through the top final of the last one if you just thought it was true that process Yeah well look it was a nice moment for him and his family and um, I thought it was appropriate you know, um, he's had a tough, tough few months, and um, you know I, I don't have to talk about that anymore. It was a nice moment to share with him. Thanks. Yeah. Peter, you're emotional during the national anthem. It's fair to see what it means playing for Ireland to you. Yeah, it means the world to me. Um, I've said that lots of times before to, to players and, and, and media. You know, it's a special thing to be picked for your country, and. Um, You've got to treat it with the utmost respect, and you know, as I said, it was a tough week. You know, we didn't want to lose last week, um, but we knew we knew we need to get back on the horse and, and put in a better performance. And um, you know, coming back home, uh, championship on the line, the whole lot of was, you know, it was a, it was an important game for us, and um, you know, felt the pressure, uh, felt the nerves, and um, you know, I knew it needed to be a big, big, big day for us. Could you take it all in, five championships being out there with that team? As you said, a tough week, you had to dig deep to get over the line today, and then your family is there as well. Do you take all that moment in? Yeah, it's special. It's hard because it's it's so special. Um, you know, you want it to last for hours, but, um, you know, it's it's nice. I have to say it's... it's um, you know, it's it's a rare feeling. You know, I've talked to Willie Bennett, who's leaving us, and you know, he's he's been around for a long time, Ramasour, and you know, 35 years he spent with the Irish team. And you know, he said there was big chunks to that where we weren't competing for championships, and and there was chunks of my career we were the same. You know, the last games, you know, were dead rubbers, and um, you know, to be in it, to be winning championships like that, it's not something we'd ever take for granted, and. Um, you know, as you saw from our performance today, it certainly wasn't something that we took for granted today. It was a proper test match, as Andy said, and, and um, you know, we were a special moment afterwards, definitely. Well, the 
there be I more days start, in sorry, green? Sorry, asking. What was that? Will there be more days in green? What's that? Will there? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Hi, Peter. Just to follow up on that, there's obviously been a lot of speculation about your future. What chances do you think that means you're asking for Ireland today? I don't know. I, I need to go and talk to my wife and, and family and, and have a think about it. Um, I won't be making any decisions over the next few days, but uh, next week we'll have to have a chat. And, and no, I, I'm, I'm still loving it. You know, this this part of it is is the best feeling in the world, and, and that's the part you chase. But um, you know, you have to have a, you know proper chat and be realistic. And um, you know, if it was my last one. You know, it wasn't a bad one to go on. You know, so I can hang the jersey in a good place if it was. But look, I'll have that weekend, or I'll have that chat next week. Ruth. And you know, some of the players said afterwards they're trying to convince Peter to play on. Are you trying <laughs> to convince him to play on? Whatever's right for him. I've uh, been unbelievably uh, a big fan of Pete all his career. Um, and we've a close enough relationship to be honest with one another and we've been talking about his career certainly over when he gets when he's getting towards the end for the for the for the last year so we're realists as far as uh, as far as that's concerned um i've no doubt we'll 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 chew the fat and all that over the next coming days great so the last question in this section from steam uh, Andy Lovett there who's spoken to already are already talking about there is more to come and better to come from this group of players. What are your thoughts on that? I sure hope so. Um, uh, it was, I think it was a fantastic campaign for, for this group and yeah, we are continuing on from, from where we left off and trying to, um, trying to improve as a group. But we all know that things change year on year as far as personnel's concerned and injuries and and whatnot and staff leaving, staff coming coming in, new staff, etc. But you know, I, I reckon I reckon the loss last week uh, will be the best thing for us as a group. Because some of these lads subconsciously now, not not um, not not uh, through their own doing, they've been, they've been used to winning they have but the special thing about the Six Nations and why the Grand Slams are so hard to do that it changes week on week like we all know and some people are, are fighting for their lives and um, for this group for some of the lads who's who's not been used to um, uh, losing at all then sometimes I, I suppose I don't know I'll have to ask them um they get to a point where they're actually turning up for games thinking, we're doing it, like, you know, you're never doing it. You're never doing it in the Six Nations because things change week to week and, and that test match last week was a proper test match uh, uh, in Twickenham and, and so it should be. We'll learn the lessons from that and that'll be powerful for us going forward like this one was tonight because that was a proper test match. Uh, Scotland are a great side. I thought they were tenacious. I thought they were tough. I actually thought we played bloody well. Like we came out, to, came out to the blocks in the second half. That was that was magnificent. The 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 power, the pace that we we put into the game. Uh, we couldn't get it over the line, but um, that's how it should be. Scotland never lot to say in that, and uh, you know that was a proper test match. Where again trophies were on the line, and uh, the last two weeks for us is going to be great learning. Okay, Murray, just final one in the second. And the obviously Andrew Strike would seem really important. He, he did this, so where did that come from? Who's that, sorry, Mary? Who did you say? The second half drawers. Oh, yeah, Ports. Where did it come from? Who's taking credit for it? Set it up well, didn't we? Honestly, we've, we, with three, with three set plays, with three set plays from, um, from the top five metres before the line, and one of them that we've not done, we've not done any throughout. I mean, we've been, we've been practising day in, day out to try and get it right. Um, we made a bollocks of that one. We made a bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, like literally, we made a bollocks of it yesterday in the captain's room, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. Here, um, but we set it up nicely because the first one was direct. The second one had a, I suppose they thought it, the direct was coming again. A little bit of subtlety with uh, Andrew Porter charging on the inside was uh, was a 
a nice a nice one for us, but we've still got one in the bag. 